Next one. Okay, so let's go with dysphagia. Dysphagia. So dysphagia is difficulty in swallowing, right? So whenever you patient, when you whenever you get a patient saying I've got problem in swallowing, what you need to do, you need to ask a bit more in detail. Where is the problem? Is it like uh, uh, all of a sudden you got this problem, or is it progressive? Progressive from solids to liquids. Yes, doctor, it's from solids to liquids. It is a red flag. So if you're looking for cancer, esophageal cancer, you will see progressive dysphagia there. Started with the solids and now actually I'm struggling to take liquids as well. So now you have to see if patient is struggling to take liquids, I want you to rule out dehydration as well. That is really important, right? Patient is not able to take liquids. You may have to admit this patient. I don't know whether the patient is present to you in the GP or in the A&E. If it is in the GP and patient is saying, I can't even take the liquids, you have to be extra careful here, right? So can't take liquid, so make sure to rule out dehydration here. And uh, if it is progressive dysphagia, we need to rule out uh, and we need to ask for red flag questions. Cancer question, obviously, loss of weight, loss of appetite, tiredness, right, dizziness and all those things, nausea, vomiting, pain, change in the bowel habits, cough, heartburn. And if you can't even take liquids, so rule out dehydration as well. Right. Now, what can be your differentials of dysphagia? See, progressive dysphagia, cancer, cancer, cancer. I won't have anything in my mind. However, if if it is uh, uh, something else. So sometimes patient says it started with both the things together. It started with solids and liquids together. What it could be? It could be ecclesia cardia as well. Sometimes patient says, if I'm drinking something cold or something hot, then only I've got this problem. That is your esophageal spasm. And obviously like stroke, stroke. What are the symptoms of stroke usually? We usually have this mnemonic. If you remember fast, facial drooping, arm weakness, slurred speech, and it's time to call. But we always have dysphagia as well in patient of stroke. So definitely you can ask that as well. So these are going to be your important differentials here right and obviously like uh, you need to ask for all the lifestyle things as well smoking alcohol your dietary habits are you taking uh, what kind of meal spicy food all these things are very important and whenever we are discussing dealing with a case of cancer don't miss family history as well right psychosocial history that is what you can do general physical examination vitals ent examination and uh, uh, abdominal examination that is what you have to do Right. So uh, if you have if you're in the GP, so you know what you have to do, you have to refer the patient urgently to the specialist. And if the patient is already in the a &E or in the specialist, you have to admit and investigate the patient accordingly. So full blood count, ultrasound, upper GI endoscopy, you may have to go for a CT scan as well. Right. So this is what you have to do. What is the treatment? I mean, it's not your job to tell the treatment because it will be discussed in MDT if you're looking for cancer. OK, so two weeks urgent referral. If you're in the GP, treatment is symptomatic. And the specific treatment is going to be decided by the MDT, multidisciplinary team, whether we are going to go for chemo, radio, surgery, or whatsoever. All right. And don't forget to talk about the follow-up and warning signs. See, I can't uh, stress enough. I mean, I'm just stressing as much as I can in follow-up and warning sign. These two things, these two things are very, very important for your uh, uh, exam perspective. Please do not let the patient go please do not finish the question without these two things up follow up and warning signs it's really really important right in terms of ips obviously you'll be having all those things ice ice is very important right and it becomes even more important when you're dealing with a cancer scenario so please do not miss it you may struggle to say you have cancer, but you may be able to ask, what do you think you have? And patient might be suspecting cancer because patient might already have Googled it. So it's going to be easy for you. All right. So patient might have some concern. Patient might ask, is it cancer? You can uh, mention, am I going to die? How much time I have got? These are the questions that you will hear from the patient's side. 
So how can you answer? Am I going to die? I can see you are concerned. It's a matter of concern. And I can see you are in a really difficult situation. The thing is, it is one of the possibility that it might be cancer, but we are not sure if it is cancer. So we need to refer you further. We need to do further investigation. Only then we can tell you what exactly is happening. And then only we can decide the treatment. And it's not only my job to decide the treatment. It's going to be a team MDT. We will be sitting together and we'll see what best we can do for you. So let's take one step at a time. And then only we can mention you about the treatment. Sometime when you mention about endoscopy, is endoscopy painful? So is endoscopy painful? So you can say it might be a bit uncomfortable, but uh, uh, we give you some medication so that you will be feeling uh, CLP as well. So it won't be painful, but uh, it might be a bit uncomfortable, but we will deal with it, right? So this is something that you need to mention. So progressive dysphagia from solids now Patient struggling to take liquids as well. So where, where it is going towards? It's going towards your esophageal cancer. It's going towards the esophageal cancer. So please, please do not miss it. All right. Mm -hmm.